Now the new tube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2015. This time, we are doing our journeyman. That's right, guys. We're going to see where we go, where we end up, and how we end up. I've taken England totally out of it, so we will see what happens anyway. The team that we are is Illyria. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I still have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Illyria, something or other... Some of the, something or other. Some some along the lines of that. Where the hell is the full name? I don't know where the full name is. It's, it's gone. But uh, if we have a look at our finances, guys, it's not looking great. We were under a transfer embargo as well because the uh, the person that owns the club tried to sell it as soon as we got the job. It's, it's going well. It's going well. Now, the reason why it's going so well, guys, is because... Well, I say so well with the finances. They are going downhill. It's because I've had to sort out my squad. And uh, I've got uh, a few players. I did get players in on contracts. They're literally on, like, appearance fees. They've got no wages. They're just on appearance fees, which actually I think will save us money in the long run. Definitely will save us money in the long run. So, But they have got no contract, practically. They just, they can, somebody can come in and just sweep them away from us, and then that's it. So let's go through the transfers on what we've done. Now, where the hell is it? There it is. Um, who we've brought in. I've signed a lot of the players that were grey. In fact, I signed all of the players that were greyed out over here just to see uh, how good that they actually were. And they weren't that great, to be fair. They weren't that great at all. And... Um, I had to go out and find new players for certain areas. And I'm going to show you the tactics of which I'm using at the moment because I think that would be better off in uh, in this kind of league. But if we were to go back here, Gino Manast Manastirliu. Now, the only thing is, I literally had to buy these on a whim. I had no information about how good these players were because I couldn't even afford to scout them. That's how bad it was. But every single person that I brought in was better than the counterpart that they actually took over. So I was very, very lucky with that. I, well, I say very lucky. There were I probably, you know, the grayed out people are probably the crappiest people in the game. So, you know, when you buy an actual person, they turn out to be pretty decent, you know, in comparison to the grayed out people. So this is one of the per people. Gino Manasterliu um, is the first guy that I brought in. No, I think uh, Gabriel Naco was. I, I don't know. I can't remember. Wh where the hell? Wh which one is it? Yeah, Gino was the first person. Albajit Mataj. Are brilliant. I needed a defensive midfielder, and this guy come in and he's not fantastic, you know, but he's certainly better than the defensive midfielder I had. And I only had one of them, so I definitely needed a second one. Albajit Mataj, um, 22 years of age. You'll notice that most of these are quite young, so at least they can grow and become stronger. Or at least I hope so. This guy is uh, like getting screwed over here. Uh, I think it's because he was injured. Um, Elka. Jaho, we actually brought him in from another team, Minatore. Um, he's on nothing. He's got no value whatsoever as this guy. And he ain't that great. But he's certainly a hell of a lot better than the left back that we had previously. Emmanuel Marcu um, is another guy left. These are all Albanian as well, by the way. Every single person that I brought in is Albanian. So he's got decent crossing. Uh, and he plays as a wide midfielder. Uh, or a winger, if I really want to use a winger, but I will show you what my um, what my guys are in just a second. And Gabriel uh, Na Nako, uh, the right midfielder, because I needed backup on the right hand side. He's actually got a value, and that's because he's got a contract. He's on ten pounds per week. What a legend, right there. So yeah, that's why my finances are going all the way down, is because um, uh, he's on ten pound a week, and uh, that's it. <laughs> It's just it's Gabriel Narco's fault. It's not mine, guys. Right, let's have a look at the tactics. Now, this is loose. This is a loose kind of tactic. Okay, this is not something. I need to quick pick as well, actually. Oh, seems that my team is already sorted. Um, this is currently the team. Now, my absolute star striker, Sokol Tali, is injured. He's going to be out for another three to four months with a torn calf muscle. He is top quality. He is top draw. He is the best player that we've got by freaking far, so-called Tally. And unfortunately, he's injured. 
Um, our second choice midfield left player is currently injured. Albajit Mataj, the new guy, is also currently injured, the uh, defensive midfielder. So you see? See how good he is? Oh, dear me. <laughs> dear me. I did want a halfback. Um, looks to serve as a role somewhere between that of an aggressive sweeper and a defensive midfielder. With a halfback, the central defenders themselves will push higher up the pitch while the halfback drops deeper than a standard defensive midfielder and in addition to his defensive duties looks to offer an outlet for quickly recycling possession when the team's attacking player breaks down. Um, I would like the covering of the halfback because of course a defensive midfielder does well what a defensive midfielder's job is protect the defensive line from breaking attackers by closing them down quickly and supporting the creative midfielders when in possession however we don't really have creative midfielders our attacking midfielder where the hell is he is it no it's not so cool have i really got no attacking midfielder oh yeah that's right i tried to buy somebody let's have a look in here guys i tried to buy um who was it was it apostle it might be apostle that i tried to buy Pretty sure it might have been. Let me have a look. Contract offer. This is the contract I would like. Oh, no, it can't have been this guy. Well, let's knock all the way down to uh, Fiverr. <laughs> Terms are acceptable. Five pound every time he plays. I bet he's living the dream right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue, guys. The first game that we've got is against Veleshiku. I have no idea, and people have told me um, when I was playing the Romanian thing how to pronounce those little C's. I think it's like an S. Velesicu? Velesicu? Or something like that? I can't remember. I can't remember. You're going to have to remind me, guys. But, uh, oh. I keep having to unsubscribe from all of this stuff. Look, because I get news from every single place in the entire world by the sounds of things. Let's have a look, uh, see what we've got coming up then in today's episode. Velesicu? Um, and probably Lacey. Um, <clears throat> I'm only going to do two because, of course, I've spent the last ten minutes explaining what's going to happen, uh, explaining my new team, explaining my tactics, and so on and so forth. Um, if there is something wrong with my tactics, guys, or you notice something that I am not noticing, which is... This is my own tactic. I've got, like, it says away up here, but I edited it all around and uh, tried to fit where my players are best at. But unfortunately... I, they're just not good at anything, really. So we're pretty much stuck. But uh, I'm hoping that um, maybe if maybe a flat four four two might be a good thing. But Bird Bird Ufe, um, played is played decent actually going into um, these games. He's played decent in the friendlies. If we have a look at this schedule here, it's not been great. You know, we've had two losses and two draws. The one of the draws in uh, against G O S K there. We actually were 2 0 ahead and we collapsed to uh, a 2 all draw. We were 2 0 behind, I believe, in against a Trant and we came back to draw 2 all, or we left it really late or something like that. Illyria Reserves, all of the five star players that you remember seeing in the first episode, they were playing for the reserve side, so that's why we lost miserably against our reserves, because all the best players were playing for the reserves for some godforsaken reason. Dynamo, uh, Dynamo wherever the hell they come from, they're just absolutely thrashed, it's 4-0. So we're going into this quite low on morale, but Velesicu is the first game that we've got. First category, Group A, it's a very, very small league. We've got to avoid relegation. They want, to, uh, want us to avoid relegation, and that is what we must do. Kicking off our first ever game with uh, Illyria against Velesicu, or whatever the hell you say, I have no idea what to expect from this game. I haven't watched them play. I didn't watch my friendlies. My uh, my assistant manager always does my friendlies for me. I can't be bothered with stuff like that. So we're going to see whether or not we can win a game in this particular league. Or at least try to survive. I really want to survive. Um, it looks a bit slow. Are we... During highlights. There we go. Let's put that up too. Neko gets tackled there and Chani gets the ball forwards. Luffy. This is us, I take it. <laughs> Toma, in towards the centre, towards Kolaki. Good ball towards Marco. Dressage. Uh, oh, Dashino. Dashino. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are we on key highlights, by the way? Yeah, we're on key highlights, which is good. And uh, I think this is fast enough. To just, uh, just until I try to get used to some of these names. Marco gets tackled by Chris. Luffy with a shot. That is a quality goal. But but no, it's Muriel actually. Muriel Luffy one nil guys. I can't believe it. 
I cannot believe that we're winning. Marco tries to take the ball down, but, you know, brilliant skills that he's got. But Luffy is miles out, smashes it, and the goalkeeper can't go near it, and it's 1-0. It's a throw-in now. Memolia. Oh, it gets tackled there. Dressage, it comes out towards for uh, Veleshiku. Dressage forwards. Balage. Dressage. <laughs> uh, out towards the wing here. I can't even read that name. Balage in towards Koreshi. Nice ball towards Dressage. And it's one all. Nobody closed him down. And that's why I want a halfback. Somebody that a, drops a little bit deeper so that these guys push up a little bit and get people like Dressage. Look, he's miles out. Why, where, why is that defensive midfielder not on him? Because he's shit. That's why. But anyway, Valesha Q have absolutely owned us by the looks of things in possession and absolutely everything at the moment. So, Toma with a throw in. Narco. Ball in towards the middle. Oh, it's a bad ball. And Marco just falls over for whatever reason. Lini. Koreshi. Dressage. Koreshi. Nice ball out there. And it's a mistake at the back. And Marco. Oh, my God. There was a geezer square, man. There was a geezer square. Hassani with the ball forwards. And once again, here's Narco on the right-hand side. Oh, my God. Oh my god, look at all these fucking people. Oh, we sold 85 season tickets as well, guys. 85 season tickets. Do you remember Grimsby Borough and Oxen Up Recreation when we sold like four season tickets or something like that? We could actually name the whole load of people that bought season tickets because it was that little amount. Oh, that's a quality goal there from Valeshiku. Nobody is getting them right on the edge of the box there. They've got to stop this. We're getting too many shots on goal. Yeah, no, they are. Get back here. I don't want to do that. I want to go into here. We're getting shots on goal, giving them... Blah, blah, blah. There, that's the one. Dash it. Ball forward. Oh, my God. What a shot there from Dash it. Cut it over. Is there anything that we can do? More direct passing. We need to, We probably need to do that uh, anyway. Um, clear the ball to the flanks and hit early crosses. Close down more, please. Lower the tempo a little bit. Lini. Out towards Dressage. Ball into Koreshi, but I think it was offside. Oh, referee! I'm sure he was offside there. It's going to be a, a, a corner kick for Valeshiku. Whips the ball across. Koreshi with the shot, and it looked to me like it was going to go in. It's crazy. Hassani kicks the ball out for Ileri, Ileria. So I say. The ball forwards there. Dealt with by uh, by Dashi. Kalaki out towards the wing with Toma. Aruki. Or Aruchi. Toma. Look, you're playing the wrong way, fellas. The ball the goes that way. That was Krasniki. The ball there. It's a long one. Dras Dashi's giving it away. It's Koreshi. Oh, it's off the post. And Dashi with a lovely, lovely covering challenge there. He made the original mistake, but he more than made up for it there by getting first to that uh, deflected ball off the post there. Chani back towards Bello. Back towards Chani again. Will Veleshiku get another goal to add to their current tally of two? Who knows? Krasniki. Oh, Marco's there again. Marco's through. It's Marco, and there's the equaliser. Marco pressed that back line, took the ball off the defender, went into... Did he go into the box? I don't know. But he went somewhere and then took the shot, and it's in the back of a net, uh, the net for Illyria. And that is bad defending there for Valeshiku, and it's two all. Nice. It was just outside the box was Marco there. Just outside the box. That's fantastic play. It is half time, guys, and currently... Odeon Berdufi isn't exactly faring very well. However, Besnik Marco is just going all out today. He's fucking all over the shop. And that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave the team as it currently stands. We're going to wait a little bit, and then we're going to start bringing some people on. Uh, So-called Salaki, I would like to bring him on on the right-hand side for Gabriel Nako. Um, but we'll have to wait. and We'll have, just have to wait until these guys are getting a little bit more... Uh, worse for wear, and then we'll bring them on. It's going to be a corner for Dressage. He's going to whip it in. Koreshi with a shot, and it comes right back to him. And it's 3-2. Alton Koreshi takes the original shot from uh, the near post there on the corner, smashes it straight at the keeper by the looks of things, 
and it just so happens oh no it came off the post and it came right back to him and he smashes it in the back of the net when the keeper is on the floor there it's 3-2 Okay, it's time now to make some substitutions, and Gabriel Nako isn't exactly playing very well, and I'd like to bring on so-called so Salaki. I'm probably murdering these names, and I am so sorry for that. Odeon Berdufi isn't playing very well either, but neither is Marku. In fact, quite a lot of players aren't playing great today. Aika Jaho is not playing great at the uh, defensive left, but we've got no other um, left defender to, uh, to bring on. So I think what we're going to do is bring on Liridin Zuri for Mihal Aruke, who is really doing badly today. He's also got a yellow card as well, so we don't want that. We're going to leave one just in case we get an injury, and we're going to continue on. Kolarevi with the ball forwards, knocked down to Marco. Marco against his man again. Marco one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. That's a lovely save there from the uh, the Veleshiku goalkeeper and it's going to be a corner the resultant corner never ends up going in anyway so I think we can just call the end of the highlight there but that was a lovely move once again by Marco who's been absolutely on fire in today's game the only kind of outlet that we've had all game was Marco apart from that snapshot at the uh, for the first goal Salaki whips this across and Dashi was there but unfortunately it's gone oh no they've actually got another touch to it so Salaki gets another corner Whips it in. And then it's cleared by Damalija. Demalij it's a free kick. Salaki whips the ball in. Keeper palms it away. It's come out towards Kalaki. Plays it back to Dashi. Ball over the top here towards Badoof. Badoofy. Oh, that's a Jeff. Alexander Ilja. Il fucking. Why did I go to Armenia? I cannot say these fucking names. Badoofy has a chance to redeem himself. Can he score? Can he level things up to 3 all in the last 15 minutes? Come on, Badoofy. Get that Jeff on target. Boosh, Badoofy. Get in. 3 all. What a start to the season, guys. Plenty of goals going in all over the goddamn place. And uh, at the moment, we've currently got one single point. We're bound to be down on possession, guys, because of what we play, which is long ball football. You know, like, prop... Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's not me. I'm okay. Woo! Hassani, ball forwards, can we win it in the last? Nice ball down, it's Marco again. Got challenged from behind, but Dressage is there to pick up the ball. I thought that was going to be our our chance there to go 4-3 up. Oh, but it might be, yep. Yeah. Toma, ball forwards to Saki. In towards Luffy, the scorer of the amazing goal. Don't know what he's doing with the ball there. Whips it into Badoofy, and Badoofy puts us ahead 4-3. Quality ball in. Illyria have moved up to first. What the fuck? Get the fuck right in there. Luffy, I have no idea what the hell he was doing there, but it was a lovely ball in towards Badoofy. The centre-back didn't jump with him, and uh, the keeper couldn't get to it. It's 4-3. Balaj, ball down the right, whipped in towards Koreshi, and that should have been 4-all right there. Oh, Jesus. We're going to have to, yeah, mark him specifically, please. Hassani with the ball forwards. Oh, he was tried to get it towards Salaki, but here's Kane. I've gone defensive, but the ball's in towards Koreshi. Nobody's man marking him. Ball across. And they could have nicked an equaliser there in the 89th minute. I cannot believe it. The 89th minute, I've gone defensive and man marked Koreshi. And nobody's anywhere near him. That is so bad. I feel really bad now. I feel really bad. It's a corner. Dressage. It could get worse. Ball in. Oh. Hassan has managed to get it. I didn't know where the hell the ball was for a second there. But I suppose when you look at the actual stats, 30 shots and 13 on target for the opposition there. Oh, we could go here. Marco. No, it's cleared. Oh, son of a bitch. What the hell? No. Hassan has got the ball. But I think that's going to be it, guys. I think it's going to finish for all. And what a game to open up the, comp the, the campaign with, guys. We've scored four goals. I mean, yes, we have leaked four goals as well. But we've scored four fucking goals. That, to me, is ledge. That's ledge. 11 shots, 9 on target, 4 of which went in. So take that. Looked extremely delighted. That was a good performance. And it was, to be fair. Once my team gets better defensively, once I get a better defensive shape in there, once I get my players back, it might fall into place a little bit more. But the tactics are working currently by that long ball over the top there. Typical kind of low league football kind of play. 
we're not going to play possession kind of football, guys, are we? Because we're literally not that great at keeping possession of the ball at this low down in, uh, in the level there. So let's go and have a look. 43% of possession, much to be expected when we're playing long ball football. But look at this, 11 shots, 9 on target. Wow, that's a lot of percentage to get on target there. Valesicu, 30, 13 on target. But we're not in the bottom two. Valesicu have got minus two. What the flying fuck is all that about? How the hell has that happened? They've lost three points to start off with. They must have fucking gone into administration or some shit like that. I have no idea. But anyway, for all, guys, that is a great way to open the series. Okay, we're here with our second and what's going to be the final game of today's episode. It's against Lacey in the Albanian Cup. God knows how this is going to go. We're getting competent with the way that we're playing our particular formation. Again, if you've got any suggestions, any tweaks that you would like me to do, then please let me know. You can see everything on the left-hand side there, what kind of players are playing where and what kind of role that they're playing and what duty they're playing as well. So if you've got any questions, uh, not any questions, if you've got any suggestions, Suggestions, I am absolutely all ears. But after the first game, I don't think we did too bad. We just need to tighten up a little bit more in defence. And that's mainly because, I mean, re really, we've not got a great defence, have we? But we've got a good uh, attacking force when uh, Luffy, I have no idea there, is ineffectual and uh, is really not that great at doing that job. But he did a very, very good job in the last game. Scoring an absolutely legendary goal. But anyway, let's get on with today's game, which is the Albanian Cup. Now, I have no idea how much money is involved in the Albanian Cup, but if we can get a run in the Albanian Cup, that would be fantastic. If we can't, then at least we can just concentrate on the league then. And here we kick off our first Albanian Cup game. Can we go to the next round? They're all expecting a lacy win. To be honest, I'm expecting a lacy win as well. Oops. I know. Muriel Luffy's made a lot of mistakes today. Oh, he's made a knock. Badufi, the ball forwards. And there's a load of space here for Marco. Takes on his man, tries to go past him, but doesn't actually manage to get past him. Uh, the ball goes all the way back to Vujanivic. Oh, and it's gone straight over the defender there. A Ophayan! Good save by Hassan, he pushes it out for a corner, but an early chance there, well I say early, we're halfway through the fucking game nearly, Le uh, uh, one for Lacey there, only three shots though for Lacey, we've kept them at bay so far, which I don't think is a bad thing, we've had one shot and one on target, so we haven't done pretty bad either, we've both had one shot, one on target, even though they've had 64% of the possession, great stuff. It is half time and the current score is nil nil. That's not bad. We're doing better defensively today. We're just not doing that great up front. And Odion Badufi had a great second half, so I am not going to be uh, substituting him. Marco hasn't had the same impact in today's game as what he has had in a previous game. But I'm going to leave things as they are. I'm probably going to. Um Substitute Muriel Luffy because he's getting a little bit worse for wear there on 69. But for the moment, I'm just going to ask him to take the scene talk and I'm going to start the second half. It's a corner now. Texture whips it in. A foyan. Nice save by Hassani again. But, L uh, but Lacey are getting loads of shots. Just not very many on target. They've got the four there and we're playing that long ball to great effect. Two shots, two on target. So we're going on the counter attack with the long ball over the top. It's going okay-ish, I suppose. I mean, we're nil-nil, so we haven't conceded, which is good news, but we haven't scored either. So, we're doing okay, Toma, with the ball. Whips it all the way up the field there, but it's cut out by uh, somebody. And Aziz has now got the ball, takes on his man. A foyan! Oh, he's been getting way too much space, and eventually, Lacey have broken us down. Aziz places, uh, plays a nice ball into a foyan, who's got all the time in the world, so it seems. And I've got him marked. I definitely have him marked, but he's just, he's got so much space, found himself that, and a nice finish as well to put them 1-0 ahead. It's going to be another corner. Tekja whips it in, and it's 2-0 in as quick as many minutes. It's another one for Charles Afoyan. I can't quite believe it, guys. We're sinking without a trace. So it says, Afoyan once again getting in that box totally unmarked. 
It's time for a substitution. Muriel Lufe, uh, Myril, M Myril? Muriel Lufe is looking really bad now. So we're going to have to bring on somebody else. Unfortunately, we don't have an attacking midfielder, so we're going to have to bring on one of these left and centers. Valon Sefer, step right up. The other guy hasn't really got much morale going on there. And also, Christian Shafaj uh, is going to come on from Be Besnik Marco. The ball in. Is a decent ball. Oh, oh, the keeper. Howard managed to save that. It came off the uh, the crossbar there, hit the keeper and went out for a corner for, for Lacey. But they've been all over me. And to be fair, looking at the chances, looking at the possession, we've got more possession in the second half. But uh, we just deserve to lose this. Four long shots. And we've only had four shots. All of them have been long. <laughs> Every single shot has been a long shot. Three of them have been on target. It's no wonder. And the thing is, I do have it. Oh, pump the ball into the box. So I'm going to say work the ball into the box, even with more direct passing. See if it makes any difference. Want to get that long shot stat down there. Neko, the ball in towards Sefa, but it's ta challenged there. Adoyin has just absolutely owned us today. Jaho with the ball forwards. Sailors. No, he's going to put it back towards the keeper. Vujanic. Vujadinovic. There we go. Where's your Dinovic? Such. Oh my god. How many consonants can you get in a name? Adoyan. Oh well, he was just asking for his hat trick right there. That was. Why have my guys just not getting onto these guys? Oh, look at that. Sef Ginjnaj. Afoyan. Oh, and there's his hat trick. Afoyan has been absolutely top draw today. And uh, against us as well. Puts it in. 22 shots. 7 on target. For our 4 and 3 on target. Really isn't doing great. And all 4 of them have been friggin' long shots. Look. All 4 of them. That's really bad. That is really bad. But anyway, guys. I mean, it was all... The odds were always stacked against us in the uh, Albanian Cup. But uh, unfortunately for us... We're going to be out. I mean, unless we're going to score th three goals in the next 15 minutes, which has never happened to me, I don't think, on Football Manager. So it'll be a first if it did happen, that's for sure. Uh, halted the ball forwards. And Zuri gets the... Uh... Oh, and it's a mistake there. Zafaj. Nice ball in towards Badufi, but it's played back to the goalkeeper and it's well dealt with by, uh, by Lacey. Doku's ball forward. Nimani turns his man. Nimani with a long shot. It's gone harmlessly wide. And uh, really bad shot, that. It's going to be a throw-in for the longest um, consonant name man in history. Adonir. Afoyan. Afoyan gets the ball back once again. It's cleared to Ndreka. Ndreka. Or whatever you want to call him. Adonir. Nice ball down the wing here towards the longest consonant man. Oh, Nhalte. Or is it Haliti? Haliti it is, actually. 4-0 to like, Jesus Christ. Abba, yeah, he's been allowed too many bloody headers. I know that much for a fact. He's been allowed too many. Get them sorted. Vujin in the... Where's Up the ball forwards. Nadreka. And that is it. That is going to be the full-time whistle. We got well and truly owned in today's game. Unfortunately, not a great game for Gabriel Narco. Not a great game for the defence either Francesco Dashi 5.8 rating what a legend Aika Jaho the guy that I signed what a legend 5.9 rating right there so we're going to have to give that team talk seems to lose confidence it was a disappointing performance though it certainly was let's have a look at the uh, uh, post-match stats and 4 shots 3 on target for us but 25 shots 9 where are they? They're in the Albanian Super League, and they're third in the Albanian Super League. I would have been very surprised if we got any result against Lacey. I can't believe that uh, we got four shots off. I can't believe it. Illyria, I think that we'll be okay, guys. I really believe that we can survive this season. And maybe after this season, who knows where we'll end up? Who knows where we'll end up? Will we, will we still be at Illyria? Or will we be sacked halfway through the season? Will we move on because we're sick of Valeria? Will we move on because we want to get paid more, Wongridge? 
so that we can get to a better club, so that that better club can then give us our first coaching badge. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that, guys. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you've got any opinions on this series so far, that's what the comments section is there for, guys. I do read all of my comments, and it would be great to hear what you guys are thinking of the series so far. And I will see you next episode. Until then, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.